Jetstream provides a nice starting point for Laravel and Inertia.js applications. Out of the box, it covers things like login, registration, email verification, session management, and so on. However, sometimes we may want to customize a particular Jetstream view to send some additional props along with the component to be rendered. For example, let's say I want to customize the registration view to autocomplete the name and email fields by passing in some additional query parameters. So whenever someone accesses a registration link with email and name query parameters passed in, the name and email field should be autocompleted. To do that, we would need to pass the query parameters as props to the register component. So let's modify the component to receive email and name as props. I'll go to resources, JS, pages, auth, register. And here we can define the props. And say name, which will be a string. And email, which will also be a string. Now that we've declared the props, let's set them as default values for our form fields. So we'll set here this.name and this.email. Of course, it's not enough to accept the name and email props. We also need to make sure they are sent in with the inertia response we get back. To override the inertia response that renders the registration page with one that passes the props we need, open the Jetstream service provider go to the booth method and type in the following fortify register view and then pass a function as the argument this function should return the response that will override the default jetstream registration view so we'll have inertia render auth register but we also need to pass the props so we'll have name and email. To access the request, we just need to pass it as an argument here. And here we can do request input name and request input email. Now, if we go to the browser and refresh, the name and email fields will be auto completed. So, whatever we pass in as a name. We'll fill in the name and same for the email. To see what other views you can replace, go to Vendor, Laravel, Jetstream, Source, and open the Jetstream service provider. Then scroll down to the Booth Inertia method. Here you will find every view response you can replace and what Fortify method to call in order to do so. We have login view, request password reset link view, reset password view, and so on. In order to override one of them, copy it and paste it in your app Jetstream service provider under the booth method, and then make whatever adjustments you need to. And that's how you can customize the default Jetstream view responses in Laravel applications using the Inertia stack. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like it, subscribe, click the bell button, and all that stuff. Bye.